Hello Gabsters, how are you Gabsters doing? Thank you for joining me for another video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And this video is going to be my November favorites. Yes. The video will include not only my November favorites, but it'll also include um, some of the presents that I got on my birthday. Yes, Gabsters. I'm a year older and I'm loving it. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome. I'm in my 30s. I'll tell you guys because I haven't told anybody else. I haven't told anybody else in my vlogs or anything, but well, considering if this is a beauty segment, we might as well talk about beauty and age. I am 34 years old officially this year, and let me tell you, really these pipes? Let me tell you, the 30s are much nicer than the 20s. That's all I have to say about that. Let's get into this video, and um, I hope you enjoy my favorites for the men. First thing this month, I got um, Wet n Wild um, Coverall Concealer Palette. Now, I love this palette. I've, I used it today to conceal because I have a lot of dark spots because I pop my pimples. Yes, I pop my pimples. Sue me. So I use this to cover up the dark spots. The problem with this concealer, Gapsters, is that um, it's got, this is a pink instead of a peach. So, I mean, for dark skin, you know, as brown girls, um, peach would be better. But what I do is um, I use the pink for my eyelids as a primer so that, because what happens is I've got very oily eyelids, so halfway through the day, um, my eyeshadow is sitting in my crease so i use that pink for the crease and then i use the green for all my red spots especially around my nose i find that i do get like a bit red and i'm always blowing my nose so you know i'm always a bit red like over here and then and then i use this browny one on top here this brown one for like my dark spots and it works like it works really well because i've got tons of dark spots gapsters like oh hd is not my friend thank god this is not an hd mm -hmm. <laughs> then i got these two babies then i got these two babies um they are from the body shop and they're extra virgin minerals and they powder foundations i got 108 golden ivory and golden beige let's see if you can see golden ah you can't see so let's see if i can swatch this let me see golden ivory is very it's almost like a honey, like a light honey. You can't really see it on this camera. Like, it's got a yellow undertone, you know? It's white with a little bit of yellow. And so I use that, the golden, I use the golden ivory for um, highlighting my under eye after my concealer. And then the golden beige is beautiful brown there it is you can't really see them both this is a brown it's much darker and i use that to powder um all my non-highlighted areas like all my bronze in my cheeks and my top here do my contour and 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 i haven't tried these out as powder foundations and just use them as foundations on their own I'm still going to try it out and see how it goes. But as powders, they work beautifully. They don't settle into your lines, your pores, or anything like that, which is fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's talking about settling into your lines and pores and things like that, I am trying out a primer, this Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Primer. I think it works pretty well. Let me just grab a mirror. Do you see any settling into lines? Well, these are my lines. This is what happens when I let go. <laughs> so, no, 
I think it works. I think it, I mean, overall, when you look at my makeup, it doesn't look like I've got pores or anything like that right now. So, I mean, for me, I think that it's working. I haven't used it much. I forget. I forget I have a primer. You know, it's not part of my makeup routine. But I've used it about... Um, about four times. And on those occasions, I feel like my makeup has not actually got into my pores. Because sometimes, especially now in summer, um, my pores are really open. So... You know, I can see it sometimes when I'm wearing makeup and things like that, but I, I think that it is working. I have to try it a little bit more, but I'm loving it. Um, and then, back to skin, I am, for summer, using this um, sunscreen. <laughs> That's what you call it. I, I lose my mind, caps this. I'm using the sunscreen. I really like the sunscreen because I am brown. And sunscreen tends to have that white ashy vibe this has it but it's very slight it's so slight you know it just it almost makes my skin look like it's glowing rather than you know a white film of you know of, of ash so I mean if I put this on and I put some lipstick on then it just looks like I've got like glowy skin you know so I really like that I tried out a brush this is a concealer brush from gala basically i was trying out the brushes to see if they're nice and how they feel and all of that and these brushes are nice um i bought this from this came i believe um the eco-friendly the um, bamboo handle and cruelty free hair yeah this was about 70 bucks 80 bucks so i mean you know 80 bucks for a brush yeah okay. okay okay I bought this other thing from the body shop which I really oh I bought this it's it's a face and body visage and corp brush it's a face and body brush from um, the body shop as well I bought it when I bought the parties as well they were having basically a three for two special buy three get two get one free so i bought i haven't tried the other brush i bought two of these because i like it just looks so big and so pretty so i bought two of these and i bought one other brush which i haven't tried yet which is why i'm not talking about it today and also in these powders i did buy another powder but i haven't used it as yet it was also buy three get one free so um, I haven't used it, so I can't really talk about it, but I will let you guys know. I love this brush. I'm using it as my powder brush and just all blending brush once everything is on and, you know, makeup is set. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember. I Last week, my favorites, I spoke about this nail polish from Rallo and I said it was a skip. On the same day that I bought this nail polish, I also bought this nail polish. Both of these nail polishes were 10 rand. They were on sale. Um, this one, which is a skip, was number 77. Still skip it. And then this one is number 61. It's the Rallo Cosmetics Professional. Both of them are professional. Now, I thought I'd lost this thing, or I thought that maybe I hadn't bought it after all. But then I found it, and Gapsters, this color is amazing. Like this color, I've got it on my feet right now, and I had it on my hands two weeks ago. I was wearing this on my fingers, and everybody I met was like, oh my gosh, what color is that? Where did you get it? And blah, blah, blah. It just looks amazing. It looks polished. It looks, it's, it's a great color. It's like a dark brown, so it almost looks like black almost, but it's not. It's amazing. Skip this one. So now we're going into my, I'm not sure yet. And I only have one product that I'm not sure about. And I bought this Pond's uh, Spot Concealer uh, Face Wash. It's called Multi Action Facial Foam and Scrub Oil Absorbing, Oil Absorbing Herbal Clay Spot Fighting Salicylic Acid Brightening Essence. I've only been using this for about a week. I don't know if it's clearing up my spots. Let me just say, but you know what it does? It does the same thing that the primer does. Now, I only use this at night. 
excuse me, I only use this at night, but what it does is um, it, you know how the primer sits like almost like on top of your skin and just sort of like, it's almost like a mask or I don't know how, it feels exactly like that primer. Like after you wash your face, it feels like you've got primer on. I don't know if I like that or I don't. Some days I like it, other days I don't like it, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know once this thing is finished if it did actually clear my spots or yeah so i'm not sure about this maybe i should just maybe wash my face with it in the mornings and then instead of using primer just put my makeup over this oh i'm such a cheapskate once the primer is finished i can just have like a wash a facial a facial wash and a primer in one. Oh, the cheapness is real gapsters it is real this is a no-no. Oh, this is a no-no. So I bought this Hello Autumn uh, Multicolor Powder from Essence. And I thought, oh, these colors are beautiful. They're just going to be like a nice highlight and just a little bit of brown. You know, it's going to be light and beautiful. And, and this thing is non-existent. Like, look. Rub, 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 rub. That's all you get on my skin. I put that on there this is it like this is it like it's check I am pressing capsters pressing like it honestly non-existent okay hmm. you can't even pick it up like this thing was a waste of my money Ah, I'm so upset. <laughs> Moving into my presents. For myself, I got myself this necklace. Oh, it's just divine. I wore it for the first time on my birthday and I'm going to put that, that link to that video just up in here. A book. Gapsters, if you know me, I am such a book Wendy. I'm so happy. So this is Thomas Hardy, Far From the Madding Crowd. I haven't read this as yet and it's going to be my February read because I had in my proposal. Let's go end of 31 January. So come 31 January, I want to take a break and read this. But I'm told it's quite a slightly feminist book because he was writing about a woman who lives as a man. And I mean, Thomas Hardy wrote in very early 20th century. Actually, Thomas Hardy is probably not even 20th century, maybe even 19th. Let's Google. Okay, so Thomas Hardy is from 1840 to 1928. So I mean, this book, you know, for him to be writing feminist stories and stories that depict women in strong roles or manly characters and that kind of thing. I'm looking forward to reading it and I can't wait. I'll let you guys just know how I found the book. I believe there's a movie coming out, so watch out for it. And then I got um, this beautiful top. Now, guess this. this is how this top sits. So it's gonna sit here and it flows. Just look at it, it's gorgeous. And it's gonna like sit like a caftan and just be like flowing in the wind, like whew, whew. Don't you just love it, Gapsters? Yeah, I can't wait for this. And then I got these earrings. I love earrings, I love earrings, it's like, the jewelry that I wear the most and that I'm most um, experimental with is earrings. And then I've got this lovely tray which I put on my desk now and it just holds my little knickknacks and things like that. Like it holds like my lip balm and things like that for when I'm studying. And it just reminds me of my time in um, Grenoble last year. I was in France for like a couple of months, made some amazing friends and just awesome, awesome, awesome news. And then I got um, a tablet. Yes, my first tablet. Mm. I mean, fancy, huh? That's fancy. But I mean, the tablet is amazing because it's actually going to help me with my YouTube stuff so that I can 
be on Twitter, I can be on Facebook and in the moment, because my phone actually couldn't, it was so old, I couldn't download Instagram. I mean, I didn't even have WhatsApp on my phone. I just decided one day I didn't want it and kicked it out. And then I haven't had, you know, so I wasn't able to download apps and things like that. So this tablet actually is a very thoughtful gift and, and amazing. And I'm just like so happy about what it means in my life. And then I got this beautiful bag like just stunning i gapsters like this bag is i need to like pass and graduate and carry this bag this is the bag i'm going to be carrying when i graduate in two years time i might even keep it until then before i use it like i'm one of those people who gets stuff and doesn't use it for like years and years and years and years and years like i would just buy stuff and not wear it Clothes only. Food, I eat it immediately. But like with clothes and things like that, I tend to keep them a while before I actually use them. I don't know. So, Gapsters, that's it for my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the things that you've seen in the video. Let me know what you think about the products. If you've tried any of the products, give me your comments. Let's compare notes and see if we both feel the same way about the product or we both have um, completely opposing views on the product. And um, I look forward to seeing and hearing from you. Don't forget to like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Bye, Gapsters.